okay so now let's talk uh, shortly about uh, how do you crack a career in data science so you know um, i'm sure you are very interested in data science and uh, either you uh, want to do this course and then look up for a job in data science or uh, you are already doing a job in data science and you want to get better better at it right uh, now uh, the general tasks of a data scientist are as follows we did go through the data science process and so we sort of know you know what are the general tasks of a data scientist uh, or a big data analyst right uh, now uh, so here are a few a few steps right so get a little domain understanding so know the domain uh, in which uh, you are you are trying to do these tasks um, define the problem statement well so work with the business identify exactly what is given what do you want to predict and so on right pre process data to fix data issues like duplicates missing values unit conversions uh, transformations and so on Visualize the data to the extent possible for better understanding and also to see basic patterns. Now visualization is very important. So as soon as you get a data set, uh, the primary uh, thing that you should do with the data is uh, you know, check how many rows you have, check how many columns you have, uh, check if you understand the meaning of those columns, size of the data uh, and so on. So those are basic things you should try to do. Uh, of course, uh, going a little ahead, you can try to reduce the dimensionality and then try to visualize it in different ways. Right? Uh, identify what kind of a prob problem it is. So the business would have given you uh, a business problem, right? And what you want to do is to really figure out the technical problem. So figure out whether it's a prediction problem or a forecasting problem. If it's a prediction problem, is it a classification problem or a, or a, or a regression problem? Is it a clustering problem? It's just simple optimization. What is it? So try to map it to the right technical problem identify appropriate modeling techniques so if it's clustering uh, would k-means mo make more sense or some other algorithm may make more sense if it's classification what is a good model to use right uh, analyze the results and iterate as needed uh, do not trust the software output always try to sort of uh, uh, see if it does make common sense or not right uh, remember garbage in garbage out so if you are basically giving some training data with a lot of noise then it is quite possible that whatever software you learn or whatever model you learn may also be garbage in that senses, may also be very noisy. Therefore, always look at the results and see if they make sense. And if you really, if they don't make much sense, then try to iterate, try to remove noise, try to tune parameters and see if you get better models. Right? Visualize the output and communicate. So look at the output. If it, is, if it starts making good sense, then go back to the client, deploy the model. Right? Now, uh, that's the entire life cycle. And depending on what role are you playing in this entire life cycle, there are various types of roles defined as far as data science jobs go. Right? So, or jobs in this overall area. Right? Uh, data analysts or business analysts, data engineers or data management professionals or Hadoop guys, right? uh, machine learning engineers or data scientists as they are called. So a data analyst, the, you know, the typical kind of jobs a data analyst end up doing is pulling out data from SQL databases, becoming uh, you know, an expert in Excel or Tableau, uh, producing basic data visualizations, reporting dashboards, um, and occasionally also analyzing the results of uh, something called as an A-B test or taking the lead on your company's Google Analytics account. Right? So these are the guys who basically uh, take the output of all kinds of analytics and then you know, uh, uh, present it nicely to the clients. So these are the guys who are going to be uh, also, uh, you know, they are, the, they are the ones who interface with the clients significantly. So they are also the ones who try to understand the business need and map it to a technical problem. Somebody solves the technical problem for them, gets the solution. These guys actually take that solution and know how to really visualize it nicely and present it back to the client. Data engineers or data management professionals. So these are the guys hired by the companies who now start seeing a lot of traffic. So these are like startups who actually suddenly start seeing a lot of traffic and then they start thinking that hey no longer can i store my data in flat files on the single machine i need someone to really do data architecture for me right so they need someone to set up a lot of data infrastructure uh, heavy statistics and machine learning expertise is very less important compared to strong software engineering skills all they are uh, all they are looking for is someone who can take their data from some uh, uh, some process and pass it on to some other process and so on who can learn architecture who can do this plumbing basic data plumbing right machine learning engineers uh, you know these jobs are ideal for someone who has a formal mathematics background 
statistics background or physics background and is hoping to continue down a uh, academic path so these are really good for like scientists the real research scientists so companies that fall into this group could be consumer facing companies uh, with massive amounts of data or companies that are offering a data based service who really need very deep algorithmic understanding or deep predictive analytics deep uh, deep learning and so on so this is much more closer to theoretical aspects of this of this field right uh, and also this is really required uh, these kind of guys are required when you want to do really advanced analytics in general right and typical data scientists are the are, are the guys which are popular so essentially they perform analysis touch production code visualize data etc so familiarity with tools designed for big data and experience with messy real life data sets is what a data scientist must be used to so data scientists really talk to data analysts data analysts get the real world business problem map it to technical problem hand it over to data scientists data scientists are the ones who mess around with the data pre process data significantly massage it nicely transform model uh, produce models iterate over them tune parameters and so on after they have built these models they hand it over to data analysts who basically go ahead and and uh, you know convey it to the clients now uh, where are where, where do the data engineers fit in so data engineers make sure that whatever infrastructure these data scientists or analysts need is up and running the data is coming in nicely and then the results are going out nicely right and machine learning engineers are data scientists but from an advanced perspective so for all kinds of advanced analytics which data scientists cannot do usually machine learning scientists or machine learning engineers uh, fill up the role there right so that's that um, now uh, this is the most key uh, key part of this session essentially how to get yourself started with data science now you know uh, and that's the big question that everyone has that hey this is such a buzzing field i want to get into this field how do i get into this field right uh, now the most important point uh, you know if you are a student great you have a lot of time right but if you are working then you have to figure out time a uh, very very uh, a strict amount of time really allocated for this purpose so uh, you need to learn and to learn you need to find time right you need to read a lot so essentially you know there are awesome websites online ydml kd nuggets and what not and you have to uh, okay we'll stop here okay so the most important question is how to get started with your career in data science uh, now um, if you are a student you have a lot of time but if you are working you need to find time uh, you need to learn a lot with respect to this field uh, the field is really really vast and therefore uh, large amounts of time need to be dedicated for it uh, you need to read uh, maybe you can start by reading various kinds of blogs which are popular like wild ml or kd nuggets and mix up your learning avenues so maybe you just don't want to uh, do completely online reading you might want to watch a few videos you might want to really uh, uh, gather in meetups talk to people uh, or even uh, you know participate in some online courses like on uh, coursera or or read up a few blogs on medium or quora read up uh, you know to keep yourself updated with new things which are happening in the field read up a little bit of techcrunch participate in a few contests in kaggle and so on so when you mix up your learning across these various venues learning becomes much more uh, much more uh, uh, effective right? so uh, now there is no point in learning these algorithms or watching videos without actually trying hands on so you must practice uh, coding in r in python of course basic excel is the basic basic knowledge required look at case studies on kaggle and then uh, uh, try to solve those problems right build up fun applications do mini projects right um, then also participate offline so join some data science meetup groups join various linkedin data science communities enter kaggle competitions join peer groups like on stack exchange reddit etc right um now uh, when you have when you think that you are confident and you have learned significant about data science especially after you have gone through a lot of material and also done a few projects at least hands on that's when you want to apply for a data science job now when you try to apply for a data science job uh, first thing to do is to really build up your linkedin profile your linkedin profile talks a lot 
So build up your LinkedIn profile. Uh, also have your GitHub profile. Talk about your GitHub profile on social media. Uh, apply to small companies also. So uh, don't just apply to big companies and expect to get a job there straight away. Right? Apply to small companies, apply to startups, write a good CV, uh, uh, take some online workshop on how to really build up a good resume. Uh, so write it out, format your CV nicely and fill them with a few buzzwords at least, right? which are relevant to you. Tune it to relevant data science projects that you might have worked on. Network at conferences and meetups. Meet guys who are working on data science. Talk to them about what you have been doing. And uh, you know, you never know when you can, uh, when you would end up with a very good job. Right? Uh, prepare for interview. So once you get an interview call, you need to go there and prepare for some interviews. Right? So prepare on both sides, data science as well as on on, on traditional software engineering algorithms and coding kind of interviews. Uh, mostly, most of the people who really hire, as, hire uh, candidates as data scientists, they also expect candidates to be really good software engineers first. And therefore, it is important to prepare yourself even for typical algorithms or puzzles kind of things um, and also know how to code besides knowing a little bit of data science and big data analytics. Right? Now, uh, this is all good when you're trying to build up yourself in data science. When you're already a data scientist and working in a good, you know, doing a good job, uh, working at a good company, uh, what all things you need to keep in mind? Data science is a continuously changing field. A whole bunch of new algorithms are coming every day. In fact, some of the parts of data science and big data analytics are changing significantly over time. Right? And therefore, it is very important to keep yourself updated. Uh, find opportunities where data can provide you better insights. So even if you don't, you know, uh, keeping yourself updated in the algorithms part is important, but also it is important uh, to prove your value continuously over new use cases that you figure out. So your client might just come up with a single use case and come to you, but you might want to, in some senses, cross-sell to the client by telling him, hey, there are various other use cases that you didn't think about, but you, since you have the data, you might be interested in those use cases as well. So be innovative, come up with various use cases. Frame problems correctly, decide the tools for visualization and modeling, know one scripting and know one coding language for sure. So um, when you are doing a job, uh, many times you just want to do some ad hoc scripts rather than really code an end-to-end -end solution. In those cases, it's really important to know at least one scripting language so that you can very quickly build a dirty, a quick and dirty prototype, just validate the idea, and then really spend a lot of time building up uh, the entire solution rigorously. Right? Uh, finally, selling your data science product. So when you build an entire product and you want to sell it to people rather than just building some uh, custom uh, service based uh, uh, small small tools, if you have built up an entire product, uh, then you need to really know your audience very well. You know, who is it that you would want to sell? What are the unique selling points of your product? What is the good data science story that you can tell? Of course, you have to sell your product as a typical product. So there are going to be all those issues. But uh, uh, you know, on top of that, when you're selling data science products, there are questions like on under what assumptions your, your software works, what kind of data input data it needs, uh, how much time does it take to execute, how credible the results are. Be prepared with all those questions. Be prepared uh, to tell people uh, what accuracy uh, does your product uh, provide. Right? Uh, and lastly, uh, be ready to tell a story. You should have a story to tell, and you should be able to communicate that story well. So these are all, uh, you know, hopefully with all these tips, uh, you would do, do well uh, as a good data scientist.